Okay, in this port here, we got two reference points that we can play with. One of them is the great pillar of power, and the other one is the valve guide we removed. First thing, look how much that guide right here, look at that. You can see the overhang, um, just plain as day. That's come. Now I'm also going to bring that aluminum down a little bit and curtail and blend. So look how much air. The only thing that's going to be there is that little 1130 second stem, which is 0.343. That guide is 0.502. And this right here, of course, is thick. So we're dramatically reducing the uh, solid statue, if you will, of uh, machine metal that the air has to go around probably 20%. I'd have to do the math on it from 343 to 505. So we've eliminated that and that is a major turning point where that air has to dump. So look at the difference there. Now come over here. Look at our deal here. No guide. Uh, sticking out and unprotruding so right there we got a kick but now let's concentrate on the real culprit here that is absolutely a damn mess and uh, they just did not have to do it but they did look at the straight line if you will this is a divider okay now as you come straight look what happens um, to my little uh, scribe Boom, it starts right here and then goes out. Look at that. That right there is almost a half of an inch from that straight wall where they put that pillar. Now, it is meant as somewhat of a support. Um, well, I've seen situations, and at first it scared me when I did my first set, but I have successfully tubed probably 20 pairs of these heads and have never had any problem with the support. What they used to do on the 18 degree head, they were after this area so bad because this is a major airflow area because if you measure from right here to the shortest point, which is the short turn on the seat, this is the area right here that is the sh uh, line of sight is the shortest point from point A to the valve seat at point B. So... When the valve first starts to open and the 1 and 200 lift, all of the air is what's called mainstream flow angle, which is the highest concentration of mixed air and fuel. It's hugging right here. Then as the valve lifts, it starts to switch and go the other direction to area that's unshrouded because it's hunting for the path of least resistance. Okay, We got this giant hump here right in the way. Now this is the one single reason why on most of the aftermarket heads I can take a, a double hump head or a head like this or any of them and no matter what CNC program that these people are putting their heads through because that hump is in the way or they haven't put the tube in it I'm going to have about a 10 to 15 sometimes 20 CFM advantage because they're not going to purposely break through and put a tube because that is a machining process and remember these companies are all about getting it in and getting it out as fast as they can that also means that human hands would have to be involved they can't automatically put epoxy in put the tube in at least I don't know yet that they can do it so this gives us a distinct advantage uh, one of my people or one of my readers posted something on, uh, I believe it was my LT1 site, getting in an argument with me about velocities. And he was trying to say that the air at the seat of the valve down there, that's where the fastest velocity was, and that couldn't be further from the truth. The area that sets it all is this area right here, this pinch point because that controls what the rest of the port, the expansion rate's going to do. By the time the air gets down there, excuse me, by the time the air gets to the bowl, it's already slowed down so dramatically. So anyway, um, sorry that you had a misconception there. I'm trying to straighten you out. But just look, I take this right here, lay in line, and look at that. I'll turn it to the other side, and look, it's still just 
boom, look at that. So this pillar of power, this son bitch right here has to go. And then of course, look at my roof, how I'm gonna bring that straight in, let that roof come in. I got plenty of meat on the top and begin the turn. Those are the two serious tricks on this port and then putting the 205 valve in it so that I can straighten that under lip and blend and roll that. So um, I just wanted to show you now at this point, with the guides cut down with the tubes ring so I can slide the tube in it. We're ready to start cutting and this is the area I'll attack first and get this straight so that way I can go in there with my tool and start cutting the pillar of power. All right, that right there is all for right now at this minute. We'll continue on. Now we're gonna go on and step up to the grinding and get this thing butcher hog out. I've only got to do this 32 times. <laughs>